What's up guys? Welcome back for another episode. Alright, so today's a little bit different. We're doing a boat build. Got our special guest right here, Adam. Hey guys. And we're doing a boat build today, but we're doing a little bit different. Um, I'm kind of, he knows a lot about starting and working on boats. So I'm kind of teaching him how to work on boats. But what mainly is going to be different today, he's actually going to be performing most of the work and I'm going to be kind of behind the camera and talking about what he's doing and explaining what he's doing. So, um, sorry if you got a little noise, got a fan going right now, I'm about to turn it off for the duration of this video. But we're about to get started and the bow build that we're doing today is his bow, that's the reason he's doing the work, is the brand new, brand new spanking Hoyt Helix. And it is a 70 pound bow. You're a 29 inch draw length, that's right. 29, 29 and a half, so we gotta play with draw length on it and get it all set up. But we just got his new sight, new uh, air rest on there. Got the bar mounts, so and we're about to start, you know, just setting this thing up and getting it going. So let's get started with it. This way. Yeah. All right, so first stepping off, we're getting ready to tie his D-loop and everything on. So he's setting his height on the of the arrow. We're going to put our thumb right underneath the knot. Once you get it done, don't move the thumb, go over to the press. I'm going to take the arrow out the way. Material. You're probably going to use something a little bit thicker than that. What are you trying to do for now? Yeah. I got arms. I don't have thick arms. Do one more knot. And see, after you get that one more knot on there, where he's going to put his arrow back on it, take it back out of the press, and double check that height and make sure it didn't move, anything move. And if anything moved at that point, then he can kind of just spin it around on the servant to raise it up or down. Alright. So, tying in this, what you do is create kind of a like what a box knot would be. Is you just overhand double tie it, run it through it twice, and he's gonna do around five times total. And then he's gonna cut more D loop, I mean, not loop material, but more serving material, and do about five times on the above the knock. So that should be four, so it should be one more on the top. Then go back and do a single knot, just right on top again. Just run it through it once. And that'll be where he ends up cutting it. So now we're going to start her burning it off. Remember, flames go up. Always. You can't be scared to burn yourself either. You know. Alright, that legit right there.
All right guys, so now he's about to tie on his D-loop and not really gonna show this completely in depth. If you want to completely see uh, how to tie a D-loop process, check out my on my channel. I have it, um, I'll link it down in the description below on how to tie a D-loop. I made a completely separate video for that. So check it out and we're just gonna time lapse through him tying the D-loop. All right, so now we're gonna tie the air rest in. We're gonna pull it tight that way. Whenever he draws back, it's gonna kind of set the timing of it and we'll play with it later. So he took just normal, show them straight, just normal long, about a foot long piece of serving and folded it in half. And kind of gonna do a run it through itself knot. And since this bow has the serving already on it right there, you don't really have to do a whole lot of serving up. You just do a couple loops. Pull it down onto the, right above the, sorry, just pull it through it. Pull it tight and then go through it again. Just kind of loop through it. Now we're gonna go below this material. Pull it tight up against the string. Now do it about that, about three more, four, four times total. Ought to be plenty. So now he's just gonna draw it back one time to make sure the timing on the rest is set. See how that draw length feels on him. Looks pretty good. I think it's set at 29 right now. What does it feel like? Okay. That's the draw length we're gonna work with right now. See, one thing about these bows is it's got a rotate module so you can play around with that draw length and change it see how that feels and then go from there all right guys so we're setting him up in some, in some deep impacts black eagle deep impact arrows and he's about to cut them off the length we measured it figured that was pretty boring so he's gonna cut them off and then we're gonna get started on everything else in the boat build All right guys, so now we're gonna start off. He's gonna shoot it through paper one time. All 
Right, it's got a slight right tear, a little bit low, but I think the right is going to, when we fix the right, it'll take care of the rest. All right, guys, so got the slight right tear. So what that means is we are going to put, we're going to do a little bit as possible. So we're going to put, start off with one twist in this right yoke. He's got a right tear, so you put a twist in the right yoke of a Hoyt. So he's going to put it in the press and put one twist into this yoke. Shoot it again. Alright, so seal just a slight right tear and it's a little bit knock low. So what we're gonna do is put a half a twist in the right yoke and we're gonna make sure his timing is correct. Probably gonna advance the top cam slightly by taking a half a twist out of the cable. And I think that's gonna be good enough to get a bullet hole out of it. Always remember to check, on, especially on the Helix or any of the new hunting bows from Hoyt, you want to check your eight points of connection. Make sure your strings are in all their grooves and your cables are in all their grooves and are connected to their appropriate eyelet. Now pull here and let's shoot her again. Let me check. The, we're gonna check the timing on it real quick. There we go. And that is a bullet hole, guys. What we did is we just the time we took a twist, a, a total of two, a total of two twists out of the uh, control cable. Now. We're gonna set a peat pot and tie the peat in. Very important whenever you're checking your peat pot is do not shoot the bow. You do not want to um, risk that peat flying out of there. I guess so I'm not really gonna talk you through tying a peep in. Stay tuned, that video is to come in the future.
All right, guys, so I appreciate y'all watching. I know we, it's what like a full length bow build. I don't, my, my chronograph crapped out on me the other day, so I'm not gonna be able to speed test it, waiting for a new one to come in. But we will, maybe one day when he comes back up, we'll try to, when I get a new chrono, we'll try to chronograph it that way. So stay tuned in the future, but I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate you helping me along with this video. No problem. But uh, he's about to get out here and shoot. We're gonna get some uh, some pretty cool footage of him shooting it out here for a few minutes. But we're gonna, uh, that's gonna be just attached to the end. I really appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you hadn't already. And if you have, if you have anything you kinda wanna see, we got some more boat videos coming in the future some more of the 80 pound verses and stuff like that but um, check out 25 high link below if you want to watch my my personal hunting bow build it's linked down below as well and uh, a bunch a few other things is linked down check out Zach's personal channel he's actually up here editing a video right now but hey I appreciate y'all watching um, stay tuned to a lot more a uh, lot more archery related content and always remember to live life 25 high.